new world. Okay, welcome back. We're gonna try this again for like the fifth time today. This is like my fifth time starting this video. I'm not having a good morning this morning. But we're gonna jump back into our series. It's been a few days since I've recorded one of the looks. My face got a break. I played my pool a little bit. If you are on any of my social medias, you saw all that funness. I've got my tea because we're still working on Alice in Wonderland and you can't have Alice in Wonderland without tea. I've also got my lemon water with a little bit of blueberries. I've got my Take Me Back to Brazil palette, which is turning out to be a staple in these looks. And I've also got another Profusion palette. This one's new to me. It's the Emeralds. And that should tell you who we're doing today. But just in case it doesn't, fun fact, we're doing the Cheshire hat. Or, I'm sorry, not the Cheshire hat. Wow! Apparently I need more caffeine in this morning. It's tea. We're doing the Mad Hatter. You got the hat part, right? But we are not doing the new Mad Hatter from the Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland. We are doing the 1951 version of the Mad Hatter, which if you go Google him, he is all about, like, greens and foresty colors with, like, just a pop of teal on his bow tie. And his skin is either, like, super, super pale or really, really pink. So I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with that just yet. He's also got crazy hair, so I'm not sure what we're doing with this just yet because... As I pointed out before, these aren't literal how to turn yourself into the character. These are kind of looks that I put together inspired by the character. So let's get started on the Mad Hatter. I've already got my face primer on and my eye primer on. And I think we're going to go ahead and get started with the Profusion palette. Because looking at him, he's got a lot of the lighter green. And he's also kind of like with the Cheshire Cat, he's one of those characters that depending on what you look at and where you look at it, he's either like the darker foresty shades of greens or he's all a bunch of bright greens. And I've seen shades where his hat is kind of closer to the, like the mossy green. I've seen where his hat is also similar to the color of his jacket. And his jacket, it goes from being like a neon green to like a mustardy yellow. So we're just gonna kind of work with a bunch of greens and see if we can get ourselves feeling mad. Got my mirror, got my brushes, got my mascara, got my brow products, got all my liners on the side because I don't know if I want a liner just yet. And I'm gonna fix that so it's not flashing at me. Okay, now, we're going, I want to kind of, I don't normally recommend doing this, but I kind of want to try this. Well, do I want to try this? We'll try it on the Red Queen. Um, I saw somewhere that you can perfect your eye look by putting some tape on your face. I don't rec generally recommend doing that because then, then the tape pulls up the sensitive skin around your eyes and that's just not really a thing that you want to be doing with your eyes. And now I've got tape stuck to me. Stay off. Off. Okay, so we're going to move what we don't need immediately and then we're going to go ahead and grab our pointer brush. And I think this one, I think what we're going to do, we're also going to grab, that's my brother in the background. Uh, we're going to grab napkin, make sure our brush is clear of any extra pigment because we're working with a bunch of different greens, so we want to be able to wipe off the pigment between. So I think in the BH Cosmetics palette, we're going to go in with this green here. And again, all of the products that I use today are going to be listed down in the description below. Um, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to stick around for more of the random fun. And let me know, because I'm not sure what movie I want to do after this, so let me know what movie you think I should do next. I'm kind of wanting to stick to the older movies, so like of the Snow White, Pinocchio, Cinderella kind of era. Um, we are going to make our way to the newer movies, I've decided. We're just not doing it yet. And I've got my fan over there, facing that way, so I don't blow pigment in my eye. And I think we're just going to start with that green and kind of put it, we're going to kind of trace out our eye look. We're not too concerned about being like exact with this shape because, well, he's the Mad Hatter, therefore he's mad. So I don't think he's too precise. And this is another one of the looks where I don't mind if we take it all the way up to the eyebrow. I haven't decided if we're going to or not, but I don't mind if we do. So that is going to give us a little bit of a transition shade. It's the lightest green that I have. 
Um, then we're going to pop in here and I think we're going to take Fern out of the Profusion Emeralds palette and just kind of tap our brush on that and trace out the shape that we just did, giving a little bit of definition to that outer corner. And try and stay under the crease. I want I was just about to say just south of the crease, but then I realized that's kind of weird. Oh, that pigment though. You know, the more I use these Profusion palettes, guys, the more I love them. And we're just gonna kind of blend and blend and blend. Blend till we can't blend no more. And then I'm gonna take some Harley Quinn, I think, and put it just under that green. And part of me is half tempted to do one eye, one set of greens and one eye the other. Yeah, I think we might. Let's do that. Let's see what that happens. Let's see what that does. And we're going to take Harlequin on this eye, which is a right eye, and put it all over the lid. And then we're going to take Juniper from the Profusion Emerald palette. And darken up our corner a bit. Ooh, that's a lot darker than I expected it to be. Okay. Okay, we're gonna kind of blend it out a bit. And yes, we're taking it all the way across. This is gonna be a very, very out there look. We're just gonna keep blending it because the more I blend it, the lighter it'll get. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a floofer. and floof the daylights out of it. Because that'll lighten it up significantly. Ow, no pigment in my eye. So even though we used a fan, we still got pigment in our eye. Okay, so this one ended up turning into the darker eye. So we're gonna just take our floofer and pick up a little bit of meadow. We're just gonna like barely tap it and then kind of pat that on with the floofer. That's not working. Back to the pointy brush. Tap in meadow, tap off extra, inner or outer half. There we go. Ooh, that meadow is really pretty. We're gonna add a bit more. Oh, that meadow is so pretty. And we're gonna blend out the top of that with the plooper. And then I think next we're going to take Monumental from the Emerald palette. Ooh, the glitter. Oh, the sparkle, you guys. Oh, all the sparkle. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to, I think we're going to need a different brush to pat this on. We are. We're going to need a patting brush. We're going to go ahead and use the Sonia Kashuk brush. Pick up some of that monumental. Oh, guys, now that you can see it, that it's not on a black brush. And just kind of apply that in the middle so that we've got a nice glittery center spot going. And then I think we're going to go back in with Harlequin again on this brush and take that in the inner third just to give us a little bit of shimmer. And 
And then I think what I want to do is get some of the green pigment off our pointer. Is use just a little bit of Galaxy on just the very tip of this brush. Because it's like a dark glitter. And just tap it in the outermost corner to try and give us a little bit of shape and a little bit of depth in that outer corner. Ooh. Okay, there we go. My poor blooper. And now we're going to do this eye. And this eye is going to be the light colored eye. So I think we're going to be using a few colors out of Emerald, but mostly our BH Cosmetics. So we're going to get as much of the pigment, green pigment we can off of this. Now, because it's mostly greens, we don't mind if a bit of it stays, but we don't want like the dark galaxy. There we go. Now we got a lot of the pigment off. And now we're going to go into our BH Cosmetics. We're going to go with this like lime green color here. And work that right under the line we made. Actually, I think we're going to work it right over that line because we just want to brighten everything up. E. And then we're going to take this one and go right below it. And then we're going to take this kind of more pastel green. I guess, wait, this pastel green. I just realized you guys couldn't even see that. And take it all over the lid. Get it all out. Bring it under the eye. Oh, now I've got green eyelashes. That's what, ooh, that'll be really fun. Okay, and we're going to take this slightly darker green. That's the darkest green I think we're going to use. We might use the bluish green right next to it, but I don't want to go too dark on this eye. Because the whole point is to have a dark eye and a bright eye. Yep, I think we are going to have to take the one next to it just a little bit. Just to give us a little bit of depth. On kind of the outer corner there. Oh, this is going to be so much fun to clean up. All the fun to clean up. Really glad I didn't do my foundation first for this. Because I was thinking about it. And that would have been a whole other disaster. Okay. Now we're going to take the this color green again and maybe a little bit of this one blend them together and go over my lid and probably over the inner part of the lower lash line on the other eye just to lighten it up a bit just because I don't want it too too dark and then I think just to make them both a little bit shinier, we're going to go in with Gilded from the Profusion palette. So we're going to go ahead and use the Profusion brush. Swirl some on the dip. Maybe a little bit more. Don't let's be silly now and go right over the top of that under my brow bone. Because he does have a little bit of gold in him. And then. 
we're going to go ahead and pick up one second okay I'm back which is good because now I've had a chance to kind of take an editing eye and figure out where my pigment in my eye is okay now one of the other things we're going to do is to tie, to tie them together is we're going to take that little pop of teal that he has for his bow tie if I can get the pigment out of my eye there we go I think I hope maybe we'll find out is we're going to take my Mary Kay diff eye definer brush and we're going to pop into here and use this blue mixed with this blue with maybe a little bit of white on the darker eye and we're gonna just kind of pop that on the inner leaf and then I don't think we're gonna need the white for the lighter eye because it's so much lighter oh maybe we might No, not the green. Not the green. Not the green. Oh, this went way out there. Okay, so we're going to grab our fluver and we're going to blend to the heavens. Because this went a lot more mad than I expected it to. on it down a bit okay now I think I want just to make it pop a little bit of radioactive because it's just so glittery so we're gonna try Ooh, that was way more than I needed wrong brush for that okay we're gonna grab okay now I'm going to clean up my under eye and put on my foundation and my contour and I'll be right back okay so while I was gone I did my eyebrows I kind of fixed the shaping of this eyebrow I did my liner and I did my mascara and what I just did with my mascara is I put on um, lash primer and then a couple of coats of mascara and then I put some green on top of it because I didn't like losing the green that was on my lashes so all that remains is to do my lip so I'll be right back Alrighty, you guys, so I am back, and that is the look. Finishing up a bit of my teeth. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments down below. I think the next one I'm going to do is, well, it's, so I'm debating. I've got the March Hare, the Queen of Hearts, and the Mad Hatter, or not Mad Hatter, Maha, White Rabbit left. Um, so comment down below which one you guys think I should do next and we'll kind of work forward from that but this is the look I decided to go with kind of two different colored eyes because I felt like that was a fun way to make it mad and what I ended up doing with the lip is again I'll link the products down below but I used two different colored lip products because that's what my brother suggested and I thought it would be fun um so thanks for hanging out with me for a bit and I hope this entertains you at least a little bit I will see you guys next time remember be kind to one another, be kind to yourselves, be the change you want to see in the world, and especially nowadays, the smile is infectious.